have to just stop the negativity. You're never gonna get a better job if all you do is keep talking about how bad your job is. I was so focused for so long on this idea of law of attraction and just like fleeing from negativity that I just didn't want to talk about negative things. Like if all of a sudden you're like, hey man, let me, let me uh, I really need to talk to you about some stuff. And all of a sudden it's like a bunch of freaking negative stuff. Like part of me like literally was like teaching myself to like completely disregard that. Cause like, I don't want that, I don't need, I don't need that energy. Yeah. Like I don't need that negative energy in my life. Like I'm trying to focus on only things that are positive and, and keep moving forward. Because the reality is like our brains only have so much capacity and we're giving away so much of it to this drama over here, this lie we keep believing over here, this opinion that we think someone has of us over here, this shame, like you said, that we have over here. And all of a sudden we're working with 40, 50% capacity. Right. We don't have the ability to not only create space, but hold space for anybody else because you hardly have enough space for yourself. Because a lot of people, they love to talk about the issues that they're going through for the sake of talking about the issues that they're going through. I, I literally think that there's a massive population of people that they love being in the negative place that they're in. And when I say that, pe people that are in that place are like, oh, I don't love it, I hate it. Let me tell you more about how bad it is. <laughs> but like, but it's like, that's just becomes who they are. It's almost like this, and Andy Frisella was talking about this recently on his new podcast, it's almost like people like, oh, you think you got it bad? Let me let me tell you how bad I got it. It's like, yeah, like my my life's worse than yours because I got this and this and this. But if the intent behind you know those more transparent conversations is like, hey, I'm going through some stuff, it should be leading towards like a solution. And here's the things that I'm starting to do, where then that conversation can go back and forth towards ultimately helping them get out of that negative space. It's the people that just want to live in that negative space that I can't, I can't be around. <clears throat> um, but everyone's got negative stuff going on. And I'm not saying I don't want to hear about it if I can help, but you have to be in a place in your life where you're wanting help and that you're wanting to get better and that you're wanting to get out of those negative situations or you're just going to live there. And I think there are a lot of people that are just comfortable living in the negative because they don't want to put in the work to make it you know, positive what people learn especially when it comes to like things like law of attraction things like that um is to completely tone out that negativity and so i think a lot of it is like is basically it's like kind of destroying that idea of saying like there's 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 certain areas where dealing with negative thoughts and dealing with these the negative emotions and obviously these conversations tend to lean towards talking about negative emotions but they can be the other way as well. Uh, but it's almost making it like, okay, like to have those conversations as though somehow you can actually have something positive come out of talking about something negative, right. I guess. Yep. Um, and making sure that you, your understanding of that. But, but maybe as far as a solution, because I think we can sit here and talk about the problem all day, but as far as the solution may be on the other end of like, hey, every time you're with a friend that you haven't seen in a little while, like asking some of those questions to dig some of the real stuff out yourself even if you're the one that comes into that conversation knowing that you need to get some stuff out. Because the reality is we've all got stuff. Like every single person that's watching this, every single person sitting here has all got something that if we said, okay, every single person open up right now, be vulnerable, what's pain, boom, go, boom, go, boom, go. We've all got it. And so if you understand that, just like starting to maybe open up in those conversations with other people, and it's like almost the do unto others as you want done to yourself. That whole idea of like, I'm gonna give this person an opportunity to be vulnerable with me, and in turn, they probably are gonna allow me to open up.